everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the LSU Tigers and the West Virginia Mountaineers. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here come the Mountaineers. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? West Virginia has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I hate to say it, but you're wrong. The Tigers will win this one. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Kicks it deep. Williamson fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 34. Beverly comes to the line with three wide. Hot. Hot. Beverly drops back, looking, throws to the middle, and he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Up the play action. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got him on the run. Way to look it in. Nice get. Sure was. He just played some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. West Virginia has just been dominant on offense. So far, so good. They've got themselves in the top ten of the country. All year long, these guys have been almost impossible to shut down when they're on the offensive side of the ball. The Mountaineers come out in a shotgun. Beverly to the air on first down. Got it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Beverly has four receivers lined up here. Short toss. Bounces off the would-be tackler. He breaks free. He's knocked out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. Play action. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Mountaineers line up in an eye formation. Beverly goes with the play fake. Throws this one out to the left. It's deflected. The safety got in there at the last minute. Well, that's a great job of preventing the score here. He got in great position and made a big time play on the ball. Third and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Beverly comes to the line with three wide. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. 
The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up. And it is good. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Davis takes it at the four. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. Tackle. That's a seven-yard game. Second and three. Ball on the 34-yard line. Two tight ends set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And he's hit as he throws. He's got the fullback. Quinn brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First it's first and ten. Ball on their own 45. Yard line. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Done. Hands it off. Recovered by the defense. Makes the move. And he is drilled. How about that play, coach? Nice play from the key part of this defense. This safety is a big time football player. And that fumble we felt it shows why. Set up shot at the 47. First and ten. Two tight ends here. On the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It looks like this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offenses. Nightmare. They, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past the 50, let alone find the end zone. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 47-yard line. West Virginia lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's under pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback is going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Punt this one away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Davis calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 13-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. The 
They'll take over at the 13. First and 10. The Tigers go with the eye formation. They'll bring him down. A couple of yards there. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 15. High formation here. With the throw. He's got the fullback. That's four yards on the play. Third and four, ball on the 19. They line up in an eye. Here comes the pressure. Brown comes away with a sack. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against the rush like that. He couldn't have done much, but I'll tell you one thing he could have done. He could have thrown the ball away, Kurt. You know that. You gotta throw that ball away. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it away. Roberts takes it at the 47. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards so flipping on the play will send the offense backwards. You're always taught that if you can see a player's name on his jersey, don't block him. Hey, apparently he didn't see it. And another thing he might not see is more playing time. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. Back to bat, steps up in the pocket, looks, he gets rid of it, and it falls incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Oh, that Kurt, he was under pressure, unbelievable pressure. He's backfield, they are going to pitch it, defense running him down. There's a fumble. Tackle. What a play. The linebacker comes up with a fumble. That was a nice play. Couldn't have done better myself, you guys. Excellent field position to start the drive. At the 27 yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. Done. To the air on first down. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. Ball comes away with a sack. The safety comes up with a nice sack. Yes, he does. Here he comes clean on the blitz and got to the quarterback before he had a chance to really go through his progression. Nice play for this defense. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball on the 31. LSU goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He jukes. The 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six.
and he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. LSU to kick this one off. Williamson and Roberts back to return. Kicks it deep. Roberts fields it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll start this drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. On the offense. Still first down. It's first and a mile. Ball on the nine-yard line. They come out with a big set. Beverly makes a handoff. Across the middle. He makes a diving catch. What a catch as he was falling to the ground. He laid out his whole body, saw the ball fall right into his hands, and held on to it. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 27. Two tight ends set. play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Almost intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Third down and a yard. Ball on their own 27. West Virginia sets up in the eye. Beerman gets the carry, and he's stopped behind the line. The offense can't get a first, and that'll bring up fourth down. They need to give their defense more time to rest. The Mountaineers line up to punt. Davis back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Davis fields it for 30. The offense comes out on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this running game. Because they sure couldn't stop them from going down the field and scoring on that last drive. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. Davis gets it on the inside. Tries to juke. Tyree with a takedown. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 38. The Tigers go with the I formation. Davis again. He jukes him. And he's tackled. First down and man, oh man, can he fly. Whew, that guy looks like a track star out there. Good looking run.
First and 10, ball on the 26. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. Broke away from one, and down he goes. Four yards on that play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 22. LSU goes with the ace set here. Done. Ends it off. Gray brings him down. And that looked like the same exact play they just ran. I think it was the exact same play, and that was a great pickup, too. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14. Ace backfield. Brought down. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 13. Done. Back in the gun. It's a direct snap. Big opening. Halterman with a takedown. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. LSU sets up in the eye. Robinson tackles him for a loss on the play. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. the second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Uh, I bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. Kick this one off. Williamson back to return. Kicks it off. Williamson takes it at the four. At the 30. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next position. They'll get the ball here at the 41 yard line. The Mountaineers come out in the shotgun. Beverly still has it. He's going right. His receiver has it. Here's an opening to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, West Virginia. What an impressive call. I can hear the defense shutters run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what?
and he tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, LSU 14, West Virginia 10. Wall is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Reed fields it at the three. The offense comes out on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this running game. Because they sure couldn't stop them from going down the field and scoring on that last drive. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. The Tigers come out in a two-tight end set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Got some open field. And he's tackled. How about that run, Coach? Just like that, Fred, and bam! The guy's got 100 yards running the football. First and ten, ball on the 44. The Tiger set up in the gun. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 38. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Throw short. Batted ball. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 38. Ball on the 38 yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. Looks. Across the middle. Got him on the run. Tackle. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Dunn gives it up the middle. Scott tackles him for a loss on the play. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second, Second and 11 coming up. This is the sixth play of this drive. LSU lines up in a double tight set. Scott with a monster hit. One, two, three, turn. This and remember, this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Right. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Yeah. Dunn lines up in the shotgun. Cut. Cut. Looking. Down the middle. The senior makes the catch. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. Right. Hayes lines up for a long field goal, and I'm not sure he's got the power to make this one. It's up, looks long enough, and it sails right on him. No good. Right. 
They'll set up shot at the 34-yard line. The Mountaineers come out in a shotgun. Beverly on first down. He's looking. Throws a lob pass out to the left. They'll bring him down. Couldn't get anything out of that. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. They'll work from the shotgun. They snap it to the back. Jackson brings him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten, ball on the 49. Hey. Two tight ends here. Beverly hands it off. No, play fake. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass to the halfback. Let him get behind the rush and then... Take off behind his blockers for six. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. West Virginia lines up with three receivers. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. Drop back a yard. Third down and a couple miles here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. West Virginia lines up for the shotgun set. Steps up, looks, throws. Complete, shakes off a tackle. Jackson with a takedown. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. West Virginia lining up the punt. Wall boots it way up there. Colston signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the three. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. They'll take over at the 20. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Bennett brings him down. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. Second and nine. Ball on their own 21. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Dunn tosses to the left side. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. He drops back. He drilled as he throws. It's tipped. Gray with a takedown. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Davis is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Little handoff, a little juice. Great one. And down he
he go. That'll be a two-yard gain. It's second down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. LSU sets up in the eye. Done with the give. He's hit and got away. Rogers lays it on him. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Drop back to pass. Looking. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So another third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Done with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. And it's caught. Tackle. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. West Virginia calls a timeout. They line up to punt this one away. Goff gets it off. Roberts fields it at the 19. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. West Virginia sets up with four receivers with the throw. Complete. Fumble. Loose ball. Reed with a recovery. Roberts with a monster hit. A nice recovery there by the quarterback. He's used to going after interceptions, but a turnover is a turnover. And he'll take it any way he can get it. I couldn't agree with you more, Coach. Thanks, Kirk. That's what I like to hear. Anytime. They'll start this drive at the 25. The drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Dead. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Hut. Hut. And he's going to throw. Throws on the run. He's knocked out of bounds. Knowing that some coaches don't like to run these types of plays, I'm sure they're happy to just get a few yards and that they didn't turn it over. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Little shake and bake move. Williams brings him down. A pickup of four on the play. Third down and short. Ball on the 15. They're lining up in the 5-2. Done. Hands it off. Good move. And he's hit hard. LSU takes a timeout. First and 10. They're in the red zone. Bunch formation. He's looking. He's rolling right. He's going right. 
Oh, he has a pick and he dropped it. Oh, my, he dropped a sure interception. He was thinking about doing more than catching that football, like where he was going to go with it. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. LSU sets up in the eye. Here's the give. Makes a move. Robinson with a takedown. And they pick up two yards. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Nickel defense. He drops back. He steps up. Looks. Here they come. He tosses it short. The true freshman has it. A one-yard loss. the short field goal. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Williamson fields it at the three. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. West Virginia will line up in a jumbo set here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, LSU 17, West Virginia 10. West Virginia got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Davis has it at the five. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. At the 28-yard line. First and ten. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Brought down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 35. Nickel defense. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Rogers brings him down. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. Right. 
First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. LSU goes with the ace set here. He's into the open field. Ball with a takedown. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. Second and less than a yard. Ball right around midfield. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Davis takes a pitch. Tackle. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Aaron and out long. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 16. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Catch up a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Again, he'll get the call. He dupes. And he's tackled. Gain of nine. in the 5-2. Dunn with the give. They'll bring him down. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. LSU comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Pitches it. Big opening. Touchdown, Tigers. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Hold it. On the offense. Ten yards on the spot of the foul. It'll be third down again after that penalty. And now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 16. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Complete to the true freshman. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. They go with the toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Three-yard loss there. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Touchdown, Tigers! They went to their power back to get them in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and tears people to get in front of him.
And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Is lined up to kick this one off. Williamson back to return. And they'll be returning this one. Roberts fields it at the two. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. First and 10. West Virginia lines up for the shotgun set. Steps up. Looking. He's drilled as he throws. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 43. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Ball on the 43-yard line. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Up the middle. Tackle. They'll get six yards. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 37. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. Beverly steps back to pass. Walks this one out to the left. And they got him for a loss. They lose four there. Third and eight. Ball on the 41-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. It's ruled out. Well, he almost had it. But tight ends usually are the most graceful players on the field. The Mountaineers line up the punt. Wall boots it way up there. Colston calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the one. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. First and ten. Two tight ends here. Carrier. He might have a chance. He's hit and got away. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. He's all the way down to the 35. He just turned on the burners and took off. Not when he didn't pick up the first, but he was only one block away from getting six. First and ten, ball on the 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. LSU lines up in a double tight set. Davis gets a ball left side, tries to shoot, brought down. What an athlete. Does this guy have some wheels or what? He's the fastest player in the football field right now. You can't name another guy out there who can beat this kid in a race. Mm, I would say one of those corners, but I don't think they could keep up with him either. 
And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Done. Little talk to the right. He it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Not only does this kid tell him not to throw to his side, he's telling him not to run to his side. Yo. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. LSU lines up for the shotgun set. Is level. He just went right through it. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Passing situation here on third and long. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with four wideouts. Done. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Has it to the senior. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. It's up. And it's puts the upright. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. LSU is ready to kick it away. Kicks it deep. Williamson fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll take over at the 19. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. Beverly to the air on first down. He'll dump this one off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Beverly drops back. He steps up, looks, throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Dropped by the wideout. Third and 10. Ball on their own 19. The Mountaineers come out in a shotgun. Beverly set to go to the air. Looking. Deep pass down the left side. Incomplete. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. Davis, back to return it. Davis, back to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Davis signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 34. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. At the 34-yard line. First and 10. 
They line up in a double tight set. Davis on the toss. They'll drop him for a loss. They lose three yards there. Second and 13. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Tiger go with the eye formation. He drops back. He's going left. Got it to him on the run. And he's all the way down to the 41 yard line. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. 41 yard line. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Dunn pitches out to the right. And now he's going to throw it. It's dropped. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. He lets it go. Complete. Brown tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, LSU 27, West Virginia 10. Third down and 12 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers come out in a bunch of formation. Dunn drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. The The Tiger line up to punt. Punts the ball away. Gray calls for the fair catch. And they'll got it at the nine. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the nine yard line. The Mountaineers come out in the ace formation. Beverly to the air on first down. Under pressure, and they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the four-yard line. Beverly has four receivers lined up here. Thomas tackles him for a loss on the play. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the two-yard line. The Mountaineer come out the shotgun, throws it to the outside, and he dropped it. Now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul, first down. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. Hey! 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. West Virginia comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Throw short. Couldn't haul it in. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight ends gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Second and ten. Ball on their own 16. Beverly is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been pick and run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. Set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one. But hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. West Virginia sets up with four receivers. They snap it to the back. Chance. Brings him down. That'll be a gain of three yards. Third and seven coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. And here's a quick throw. And it's caught. Jackson brings him down for a loss. Loss of a yard. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Mountaineer come out the shotgun, looks down the middle, complete tackle, and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. First, they'll start this drive at the 43. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Davis, the ball carrier. Can't wrap him up with the spin. A little shake and bake move. Brought down. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Second and less than a yard. Ball right around midfield. They come out with a big set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third and one, ball right around midfield. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Done with the give. Missed tackle. And he breaks another. Here's an opening to the 20. 
to the 10. Touchdown, LSU. There's no slowing this kid down. That makes four touchdowns. Now this halfback just has an uncanny ability to make people miss. He's a very slippery runner. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Roberts back to return. Kicks it off. Roberts fields it in the end zone. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. West Virginia lines up with three receivers, and they got him for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. West Virginia lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He steps up, looking. He's going left. To the middle, it's his tight end. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 37. West Virginia in a four wide set. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. Russell picks it off. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's in for the touchdown. Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, LSU 41, West Virginia 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Williamson fields it at the two. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. After distance from the spot of the foul. So they'll move Touchdown. back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll go to work at the 10. 
First and ten. They line up in an eye. Beverly, little toss to the right. He throws it to his quarterback. Almost picked off. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the ten. From the gun. Play action. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. Third and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. The Mountaineers line up with two tight ends. Beverly, back to throw. He unloads it. And it's going the other way. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Excellent field position to start the drive. Looks like they've taken out their quarterback and they're giving this young man some mop-up duty. He might not be able to get the pass off. And the big fella gets a sack. With being such a hog molly, he can move a lot better than I thought. Oh yeah, Kirk, you didn't call him hog molly when you saw him at the hotel. Second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Yeah. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Baker gives it up the middle. Scott lays it out in. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Third and 11. Ball right around midfield. High formation here. Brown brings him down. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Right. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Gets it off. Roberts fields it at the 17. At the 40. Down the sideline. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. That's what his ability can do. But well, here you see a combination of things. His athletic ability, his ability to improvise, and his speed accelerating by the defense. Keep this in mind, guys. He is capable of doing this every time he touches the ball. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is LSU 41, West Virginia 17.
West Virginia is lining up for the onside kick here. Number nine, back deep to return. With the onside kick. Well, that'll end all hopes of a miracle. You can say that again. This one is pretty much done. They'll get the ball here at the 49. LSU sets up in the eye. Lewis gets it on the inside. He has the roof. The ball with a takedown. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. The Tiger go with the eye formation. Lewis, again, Brown brings him down for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. High formation here. Brings him down. Well, we thought we'd only see him in short yardage situations, but apparently that's not the case today, folks. Third down and short. Ball on the 26. LSU comes out with two tight ends. with a takedown and they get a nice gain on third down remember when we talked to the coach he mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense and he felt that he may have some success well they had some success on that play have a look at our old spice red zone numbers red zone when performance matters the most the kicker got them points on their last red zone visit let's see if the offense can get points this time And this one's all wrapped up. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. LSU faced a pretty good opponent in this one. But they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again. Again, our final score, LSU 41, West Virginia 17. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long.